Hi, I'm Symphoneers, and today we're taking a look at Bant Super Friends. I've been kind of messing around with various builds of this deck for a while, but the most recent version I have working a little bit better, feeling a little bit more, you know, consistently good, so I thought I'd make a video about it. The main change I made compared to previous versions is leaning into Plaza of Heroes and the kind of legendary ramp that that enables. In particular, Sten Paranoid Partisan is actually a really great way to ramp out Planeswalkers. Um, like, you name Planeswalker and to get all their costs reduced by one, and they're all expensive enough that that kind of generic cost reduction is active for them. And also, the Plaza of Heroes lets us run Katilda, another generic two-mana dork, but Sten and Katilda together give us a lot of redundancy with uh, Lanowar Loam Speaker. So this makes our entire ramp package way more consistent, like we're more regularly playing out Planeswalkers on turns, you know, three, four, etc. Uh, we are also running four Spirited Companions. This is just in the deck because it's a relatively transparent slot, or like a creature that can trips for two mana, is a great way to kind of thin the deck, get a little bit of board presence that can chump block for like some of our Planeswalkers that don't defend themselves especially well, and it is something that can also carry counters from Broker's Ascendancy. I've tried running various numbers of Broker's Ascendancy. Two felt like enough that you see it almost every game, but you don't overload on it. I did try running Mirror Box in the slot very briefly, and it just didn't do enough, really. Like, getting two Johnnies out is cute, but it's not all that good compared to what Broker's Ascendancy does for the deck. Uh, for removal, we are running a bunch of exile effects. The kind of cutest of them is Lagrella. In particular, she can exile um, one of your opponent's creatures, like how a Brutal Cathar does, but she can also blink or like tuck, hide away the spirited companions, which is nice because it gives the deck a little bit of wrath resistance. Um, the spirited companion does get two plus one plus one counters when it comes back, so she can kind of upgrade it into an actual creature or like a, a more relevant body. So, Lagrella, good in the deck, um, two Brutal Cathars, just good creature removal. It's a little bit patchy versus control decks in general, but it is some of our most, like, one of our most important cards versus aggro decks, so that's why it's in the list. We're running one Borrowed Time, we're running this kind of permanent-based removal because we want all removal that can be hit off of Elspeth Resplendent's downtick, which I'll talk more about in a minute. But yeah, the idea is that we just have a lot of interaction that Elspeth can dig out of our deck, like, she will really consistently hit one of them. Um, so if you want to tinker with the removal suite, just try to use permanent-based removal, it helps. Uh, in the 4-drop slot, some of our other removal, the Wandering Emperor. Uh, she is, yeah, just good spot removal, basically, although with Broker's Ascendancy and stuff, she can really spit out just piles of samurais. So she's one of the main ways we have to kind of produce a board, um, pro especially in control matchups. We are running three Ajani Sleeper Agents. When you're getting him out really early with, like, Sten, the card advantage from the uptick can really add up, and we that is one kind of reason we're playing so many creatures and stuff too, aside from Elspeth's thing, is that Ajani will actually draw Brutal Cathars and stuff into hand, whereas he can't actually hit, like, March of Otherworldly Light, or whatever your spot removal of choice is. In the 5-drop slot, we're running 3 Elspeth Resplendence. Uh, this is a great way to stabilize versus, like, black decks or aggressive decks, the uptick giving lifelink that can just help you stay alive in the matchup, basically. Uh, the minus 3 digs for removal, like I mentioned. 2 Ren and 7s, mostly because just a giant tree folk is pretty good. Just kind of a generic value card to fill out our top end. And we are running 3 Tamiyo Completed Sages. I like Tamiyo because aside from being able to cheat her out a little bit early with the Phyrexian mana, the Force Tapping actually works really well with the Wandering Emperor. In particular, you can, like, tap down a shieldred that your opponent might not be attacking with because they want to keep her back defensively, and then, uh, well, she's tapped down from Tamiyo, flash in the Wandering Emperor or whatever, and exile her. So just a great all-round kind of utility value top-end card. That about covers the deck. I think I hit everything. So if you like the deck, then click the video, click all the buttons and stuff. Helps the channel a lot. Anyway, that's about everything, so let's get on to some gameplay. This is better. I like the dog. We do need to draw lands, but the 
Oh, the dog helps this draw land, so... Slightly faster hand, maybe? Hopefully. Um, or versus black, so that should be a little bit more in our favor. Loam Speaker would be good if it survives the turn. Um, yeah, just getting an Ajani down is nice. Okay, we can do a full price of Johnny too, or I guess we can... Uh, I would rather just pay retail for Johnny, I think. There is a place for all Uptick and... Join us. <sighs> um, sure. Keeping a land atop is not awe-inspiring, but we do need mana for Tamiyo and stuff. Mm -hmm. you think you can win? Mm -hmm. Also another reason to keep land up top. Uh, do we want to... We can just exile Ellis Ilkor with the Wandering Emperor. Tap down with... Up, take a Johnny. One thing I don't love is leaving... Oh, hello. Hmm. I like playing out the Brutal Cathar just because it's a thing that can hit Liliana. Less sold about it from the perspective of actually expecting it to survive the turn, but, I don't know, give it a shot. Hmm. Oh, Sarah Paragon. Um, Drop it. So this is a sack build, maybe? Or I guess we can get rid of the dog. Um, no. I, I would simply draw land to play the full price Tamiyo and tap down the Paragon forcibly so that the Emperor can exile it. Uh, and that our, our thingamajig can hit Lily. Tippity tappity. Reveal top. Join Sten. In perfect harmony. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, they tossed Wandering Emperor. I always forget that Sarah Paragon works with just everything. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I think that's still correct, even though the fact that they can recur Lily is awkward. Like, if only because it gives this kind of Planeswalker initiative or a chance to get Tamiyo down to work with the Emperor and stuff. Um... Yep. When I win, you're telling me what you they down tick. We can do Sten and the Emperor. Oh, I've always hated hmm. Or we can Tamiyo to exile something again. Flash in the Emperor. Um. Honestly, I think I would rather just say, do this. Do this. Whoop. Goodbye, Sarah Paragon. Uh, top card. Yes, I would like the Broker's Ascendancy right now, thank you. Um, do we want to try to protect? Uh, we can't really protect that. All that well with the Brutal Cathar, we kind of can, but Meat Hook is not technically banned on Arena yet, so. Mm -hmm. Um, this does get us towards Tamiyo Ultimate 2, which is very good. Even though, technically, artifact destruction is not that uncommon. Voice of the Blessed. 
so... Sure. If they're playing like a... Just underwhelming Orzov deck? Uh, then, then I'm not super worried. Get rid of the dog. Okay, so... Tamiyo ultimate, because cost reduction is cool and good. Draw a card for free. Two mana Ren and seven, you don't say. We want to a Johnny ultimate too. Uh, I guess our color colors are a little bit wonky here. Greed with the Ajani ultimate, or like, do this. Oh, one mana Brutal Cathar, that's pretty nice. Sten. One mana Brutal Cathar. Um, Broker's Ascendancy, because we can just turbo stuff, or like turbo Landswalkers with it. Attack the Lily, and Sten has first strike, so that sticks, or like that goes through. Broker's Ascendancy happens. Sarah Paragon, sure. They can loop the ill cores. Once I realized they were playing a life game deck and standard is just like, oh, I'm fine. Um, so, meme on them with a Johnny, uh, draw a card. Ooh. Done. Hey, three for Tamiyo. Forcibly tap the thing that can fly. Um. Exile the thing we just forcibly tapped. Uh, I do kind of want sorcery speeds a little bit wonky, but just counters from the ascendancy there, but. Yeah, the opponent calls it. Good! The Super Friends deck is a little bit more consistent now, which is nice. Or, the big thing from the last few times I've taken a crack at it is... I realized, I feel like I should have realized this way sooner, but Plaza of Heroes is really good for it. And Sten is really good for it. Um, Sten just because... More more ramp on two mana. Higher upside, potentially. It's a good card. Awkwardly, they haven't played out anything for us to... O-ring with a creature. Um... I think we might just leave them in a hand for now. Definitely would have liked to exile like a Blood Tithe Harvester or something, but... Or versus Anvil, I guess? Mm -hmm. uh, let's do Discount Tamio. Whoop! Tap up to one. Just no reason. Assert dominance over the experimental synthesizer. Uh, Zoomy Road Captain flips. No, look, it's Soren. Would be a shame if something happened to those tokens. Um, although we do have Elspeth, and landing Elspeth tends to be cool and good. Mm. Uh, we can gamble? I guess we can't protect Elspeth if we gamble. Yeah, we can't protect Elspeth properly. So, let's just do Brutal Cathar to effectively remove that. Tippity Tappity on the road, Captain. You cannot delay our I was thinking Elspeth flip into a Cathar. I guess that technically would have worked, but it was risky. Like if we're minusing, minus three to dig for more Cathars to do this move. Hmm. Ooh, I can Lagrella my Cathar here, which is fun, if it survives the turn. I... I initially just put Lagrella in as a... okay, never mind. Or like, yeah, the... 
if it survives the turn thing. Um, I guess now we roll for... Oh, hello. Tap the thing that gives them lifelink, flash in the Wandering Emperor, and then next turn we'll be in a better position to do... Um, to like manage their board with our Planeswalkers. Soul transfer stuff is happening. Mm -hmm. Or sorry, happened, which is, yeah. You can deal with my hit me, hit me, hit me. Uh, there I'm gonna go. Exile that, keep Tamio healthy. Mm, so. I wish we had a little bit more, but anyway. Um, let's do let this. Yes. Like, I like drawing the cards I need. Now we should do the Brute Cathar. Um... Whoops. Right. Doot doot doot. I forgot it had flipped tonight, which is... less than ideal and potentially a punt, but... Shh. Uh, with only one thing on board, they can't... Like, they can either kill one of the White Plains walkers, or stop Tamio from ulting, they can't do both. They opt to stop Tamio's ult. I guess, like, they could do both if they had more soul transfers or whatever, but... Yeah, anyway. Mm -hmm. I should really remember that the Planeswalker thing is, like, right behind my head if there's a bunch of them. Wow, fuck that. Uh, also, why didn't Moonrage Brute not die? I'm confused. Oh, shield counter, right. Duh. Um, anyway. Tamio and dog? Yeah. Um... The thing I was looking at there, too, was just a Spirited Companion. Go. Or, like, Spirited Companion plus Lagrella is nice. Also, also... I don't hate... We are down ticking for Wandering Emperor. Um... Samurai. Dog. If they have more burn down the houses, we're sad, but if they do, eh. I love that the copy, like the Tamiya token of the Wandering Emperor, is the alt art. Just because it feels extra... like... weird? N not, not weird in a bad way. Weird in a, like, flavorful Phyrexian way. Oh, hey, Johnny. That is cool and good. So, Lagrella, mm, beep, bop, uh, blink our own dog, play out a Johnny. Are we trying to make things big here? Maybe. Um. <laughs> Maybe. I think I would like to draw cards more than I want to make things big, though. Upticking a Johnny there also potentially gets him above a burn down the house. So, or not not this turn, but like next turn once he's oh no, it's fine. Hey, Shieldred, you're basically irrelevant, so that's cool. Um, tribute to Hirobi, why? Why are people doing this? Do 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 do. 
Tippity tappity. Uh, bonk. Also, top card. Hmm, stem. Stem's kind of nice, although we should do the dog first. Um, Plaza of Heroes, okay. Stem's protection is online, which is nice. Just do a big bonk. Uh, the samurai has vigilance, so that's good and helpful. And turn. I don't know why they would play that at this... S seeing things like tribute to Hirobi just makes me feel like black decks got complacent. <laughs> We're like so used to just coasting on Meat Hook. Oh, I'm so happy about that ban. Soul transfer, sure. The enemies have oh, sorry, who did? Who was actually the Johnny? Yep. Eh. For the sake of all sure. My must I bring my we can still tap the token and swing in with everything. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure that they. I guess they could be holding up spot removal. Mm. Uh, big smash. Yeah. Woo! Love smashing face with super friends. <laughs> oh yeah, tokens, or tokens, gold. Two lands has me a little bit nervous, but we do have two, um, two of our two mana ramp pieces, so I think we're good. I think, I think. Katilda and Sten also just work together nicely, uh, although we're versus mono red. <sighs> Mm -hmm. I'm a little surprised when I see people playing mono red or, I don't know, it just really did not feel that good to me when I was doing, or has not felt good to me, the standard. I'm excited for it post meat hook ban, but yeah, that's kind of a whole thing. Loam speaker just because it doesn't die to play with fire, unlike our other two mana things. Does die to, uh, yeah, I was gonna say a bolt or a commies flare. Um... Plaza of Heroes helps. Shivan Devastator's not good in and of itself. Um, or like a 1-1 one, one flyer is not super concerning. Mm. See if Sten can stick. If Sten sticks, that would be nice. Stormseeker, sure. No blocks. Okay, okay. We can just make a big tree. I think I would like to make a big tree. Um, <laughs> they can probably kill the Ren and Seven here, but we don't really care that much about that. Like, it's... yeah. Um, still keep Sten on blocks? I don't want to block with Sten. Whoa, get in there, Sten. <laughs> or they have a Rending Flame, okay. That's a nod to Shieldred, I would assume. Un fairly unusual include, so I'm not, like, too mad about that, but... Yeah. Um, if we Brutal Cathar, we can get a flip soon with the other stuff. Eh. Just, hua. Sten got them on that 10 turn clock. They do get the flip on the Storm Charged Slasher this way, which I don't love. But, 
I don't think we can do that much about it. Shivan Devastator number two, huh? Oh, they're playing this properly, which is annoying. Or like, we take six. Uh, Wandering Emperor. Exile of the Big Storm Charge Slasher. Go up to nine and down to three. Um, technically, we can Odawara stuff, but I don't think that's good. Uh, do, 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 do. Get a Katilda out. Down tick to make a samurai, exile one of the Shivan Devastators next turn. Well, the 3-3. Three, three. Um, yeah. End turn. Kumano number two, okay. This is definitely the point in the game where we would rather our opponent draws them than, you know, like, at the start. Mmm, how do I feel about this? Uh, fine. Or, like, we're not... <laughs> fine, if they're going to play this diligently, then I'll... Uh, not greed. <laughs> bonk, bonk. We can block with the Cathar and their Kamanos just die. Um, we should maybe still hold Sten back? I don't know, I just would really like to kill them. Attack with Katilda, hold back Sten? Right! Oh right, that's how Katilda works. For a second I was like, no, you're punting because mana, but she gives all humans the thing, which is why she's good. I don't know why I forgot about that. That's like a whole big reason why she's in the deck. Um, we're just dead to the modified trigger, aren't we? Like that. I guess, no, sorry, we can do this and XL target tapped creature. Um... Double block. I assume we're just dead next turn. But maybe we top deck an Elspeth. We do not top deck an Elspeth. Spirited Companion? Oh. Um. Huh. Well. Not an Elspeth, but it can tap down a flyer. Sorry, we in there have... Um... Yeah, I would rather just tap down the Devastator here, I think. Plus one, plus one counter on... something. Um... Bonk? Bonk them with Sten. This is... Mm. We are dead to just another Kamana faces Kakazan. Or a play with fire or something. <gasps> um... Are we trying to get the flip here? Maybe. I think that's probably better for us, actually. Um... Or like that maintains more resources, holds more resources for us. Broker's Ascendancy. So... This gets us out of dies to play with fire range. Then we can XL target non-land card, pay four. Um, pay five and get Renan and seven. Pay five and get Ren and seven. I think I like that more than more than the other thing. Um, green tree folk token. 
Broker's Ascendancy, Donhart Coven, Bonk Bonk, um, Haste Threat, Haste Threat. Haste Threat, Ding, uh, I don't think it really matters. I'm just going to attack with one to be extra cautious. Like our Broker's Ascendancy ticking there means our attack next turn is going to be very lethal. Oh, my bones! We've been having some bad hands in the past few games. Um, or like no green here is iffy. I guess we do with the dog. I'll simply draw green mana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um. So, gruel opponent. Or maybe Jund. Hey, uh, or, or, or. I'm going to do the Spars headquarters here. I would have liked to play with the companion, but just hitting Broker's Ascendancy on curve is cool and good. Then, kind of everything we do moving forward is a little bit higher impact. Tainted Adversary, sure. So, like Jund, Agro, or whatever. Um, do that. Do brokers. Ding ourselves for one. Then probably Wandering Emperor. Like, get one of them down to... I haven't seen any Zeotaurus uh, Zeotaurus Envoys. I want someone to play Zeotaurus Envoy. I really like Zeotaurus Envoy and I think it's good. I just haven't been playing black decks because standard has been the way it's, the way it's been. Um, doesn't matter what land we do here. And yeah, flash in the Emperor... We could do it on end stuff. Nah. I was just thinking we missed this trigger with the Broker's Ascendancy, but like protecting an Emperor is probably better for our long-term board development. Cathartic Pyre for the opponent to chuck some stuff in the bin. Mm -hmm. Toxril. Oh, it's Jund Reanimator. Okay. Um. Hmm. Return upon the tide. Is that what they usually play? Something like that. Uh, either way, I think I'm going to do this here. And exile the adversary. We do Lagrella and Wandering Emperor, which are pretty good forms of spot removal. So, I'm not overconfident. Feeling okay. My judgment <laughs> is final. Do kind of wish we could do something a little bit different there just to keep up like Tamio force tappings. Okay, so Mmm, Plaza of Heroes helps our mana. Mm -mm -mm. I kind of wanted to... Let's do... Spirited Companion. Maybe we are supposed to just jam Lagrella, but I kind of... I kind of... Um, sorry, jam Tamio, but I kind of like being greedy li with Lagrella. I just could not talk there for a second. Doing the Lagrella Blink thing. Take their Blood Tithe Harvester. Both their creatures rebuy them or like get them an additional blood token if they kill Lagrella, and I just think we kind of have to deal with that. Um, uptick. They don't have black spot removal online, which is nice. Or like that helps make Broker's Ascendancy relevant and it ensures this Wandering Emperor survives. Definitely waiting on the Tox roll. I guess, are we even that afraid of Tox roll? Like, we have Broker's Ascendancy offsetting their whole deal. Uh, losing Tamio here is awkward. Although, if they're not dealing with our board, maybe it's just kind of fine. 
Yeah, Aldo Sevilla. So as well. I feel like I'm like still 50-50 on not not embarrassing myself saying your name. Um Yes, very happy about the meat hook ban, which is yeah, fun and exciting. I've been managing this deck has been holding up to and meat hooked standard fairly well, which is nice. Um, but I'm looking forward to playing like mono red, mono green, uh, and a bunch of other decks that were pretty bad in the face of meat hook. Should be fun. Um, oops, I clicked the wrong thing on a back end or on my second monitor. Do, 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 do. Titan. Okay. Killing the Broker's Ascendancy is probably correct for them. Here's to see if they go for it, though. They do. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh. Um, anyway, let's do... I think I just want to do this. Tippity-tappity. Exile target tapped creature. Um, I think we attack with Lagrella here just to apply pressure. Is there? Is I don't think the green defiler is constructed playable. <laughs> Not in standard right now, anyway. Um, although it is definitely the best. The all right, Tox roll has a whole step that does stuff. Um. Brain work better. I have a mono. Was that deck mono white? That deck was mono white. I have the white defiler in a like life gain engine deck, um, or a mid range pile, and it did pretty good in that. Oh, they don't even attack with the thing, so we're fine. Cool. So tap. Ah, uh, make a samurai. Wandering Emperor. Yeah, we are in standard right now. XL Tox roll. Uh, definitely should have stend. Whoops. I was getting all excited. Um. Oh, my Lagrilla is so small. Planeswalker. Sorry, that wouldn't have mattered. Why am I... What What am I thinking? Oh yes, the... Sorry, the mono-white deck is standard. Yes. Um, it's on the, the YouTube. Uh, yeah, it's a fairly recent-ish video. Um, I don't love attacking with Lagrella here, which is awkward, but we'll deal with it. Also, are we ulting Tamiyo? I feel like we might be ulting Tamiyo. Mm -hmm. God, blood tokens are so strong. I don't know why they stuck them on everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Liliana's fine? Discard. Oh, uh, yeah. Fine is strong. This, like, this is annoying, but it's kind of whatever. I would... Oh, okay. Wrong decision, but sure. Um, and they they vibe. So, I think I would like to Elspeth give a. Anyway, uh, keep seven. Some ramp and a dog. What more could we want? A completed sage? Ooh. Um do, 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 do So reverses a black deck. Surprising no one. I kind of mm, I think this dies to cut down. Ooh, or maybe not. 
if they just play like an underdog or something, that wouldn't be the worst. Getting a... Uh, um... No, this is fine. I was worried for a second, but then it's like... There's some text on Tamiya that's cool and good. She can tap creatures or artifacts. So tap down the bank buster. Then from here, depending on what they do, Liliana of the Veil, vale, sure. We're definitely not all that concerned about losing a uh, mana dork. Play some stuff out. Play, play, play. I don't hate flashing in the Wandering Emperor is the one kind of complicating factor. Uh, let's keep tapping down the bank buster. Just like a creature at instant speed basically is the the entire thought process there. <laughs> Discard a card. Sure. Um, probably the loam speaker, honestly. Having lands for Odawara seems cool and good. Sure. Do we have... Hmm. Bankbuster still tapped down. Hmm. Yeah, Flash in the Wandering Emperor. Run away. You'll be safer. Two two samurai with the vigilance, then we can uptick to give it first strike attack Lily, keep a blow awker on the field for the graveyard trespasser. Um Den. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we're reanimating anything with Tamio at this point. So let's do combat first, because we're not going to draw anything that changes our math here, I don't think, with with the companion. Attack with the samurai. Ooh, they take the chump block, okay. They can meat hook for two next turn, so that's about that. We can keep the bank buster tapped down. Draw with the dog. Just all of our mana acceleration, okay. Mm, Loam speaker, because it can get lands. Or like. Yeah, is kind of a 3-3 versus a 2-2. Although Stan can protect himself, which is nice. Uh, lose... Actually, probably Bloom Speaker. Oh, maybe not. They are behind on mana. Mm. The, the thought in losing the Loam Speaker there is just if we eat an uh, Invoke Despair, we can, like, Creature, Enchantment, and One Planeswalker. Deny them some card draw. Uh, a Johnny's nice. So are we... Uh, what am I doing? Sten, then a Johnny. Planeswalker. We actually might be Town Tick. Um... Down ticking onto Johnny. Take one off our land. Hmm. Don't resist. Yeah, still just loam speakers and stuff in the graveyard. Uh, keep the bank buster tap down for them. I would like to try to ult with Tamio, I think. Um. Let's make a samurai and make our team bigger with a Johnny. Or maybe we should go for card advantage. We could go either way pretty comfortably. 
Let your blade do the talking. Mm -hmm. I just like... I do like this for making our team big, pretty much. Let's do submit. Uh, do I like this? I keep being very indecisive. Let's reveal top card, actually. Oh, we're in Cathar. Not too shabby. A swing in with the 3-3. Three, three. Mm -hmm. I think we... Keeping with the bank buster tapped has been nice, but I do think we just ult Tamio next turn. Because having an artifact that taps to draw a card and reduces spell costs by two is pretty cool and good. Mm. Let's do some stuff first, though. I would feel better about ulting her if I knew we had some things to work with. Uh, sure. Tamiya's notebook. Sparse headquarters not great. Um, we can just chuck it. Also, Brutal Cathar is dirt cheap. We can Lagrella. Let's Lagrella here, actually, over the Cathar. Because we can Lagrella one of the Trespassers to... and eat our dog. As you do. Um, actually, let's toss this Brutal Cathar, because their main creature threat has Ward discard a card, and the Brutal Cathars are... So we don't do that yet. Uh, Brutal Cathars are really bad there. We're kind of in this overall board state. I don't want to do this a lot. Like, O-ring with a creature only to have um, a meat hook happen and they get stuff back. So do this. We delay this just because we might want to blink Sten. Like, if they attack with a bank buster and stuff, that would be nice. Um, okay, or nice is strong, but, like, we could chump block with Sten. The Johnny number two, Electric Boogaloo. Uh, Tamiya's Notebook goes burr. Down tick with the Johnny, or ultimate with the Johnny. Planeswalker ultimate number two this game, you love to see it. Um, a Johnny happens, we begin poisoning our opponent. They're really playing out a game that they've gotten extremely stuck on mana on. Um, give the Vigilant stuff counters. Top card? We could put counters on things with second to Johnny, but I think in this board state I'm more excited about just dealing damage. They finally draw cards with the Bank Buster. Ooh. Two mana Elspeth. You love to see it. Yeah, Sten plus Tamio's Notebook. Very good. Um, I think we just do... Uh, how do we want to do this? We could make the other thing big too, but I like just jumping... Chomping, trundling on in with the big vigilant keyword soup stuff. Whoops, that's a 3 3. That's just a punt. Uh, I think that's why my brain was like, yeah, put it on the 3 3. But anyway, we're here now. Children, sure. Flying on this one. They're really playing this out. Whoop. Draw a card. Okay, okay. Um. Do do do. Reveal. Or I guess I could have put a card. Mm. Join us in perfect I'm getting sloppy just because, like, layering Planeswalker ultimates is fun. Um. Uh, mm -hmm. Show what yeah, like. Forget about it. Uh, Brutal Cathar. 
Also just play out Katilda for, um, there, they finally throw in the towel. Yeah, play out Katilda for poison value. Thank you for watching the video, and an extra big thanks to Alex, Spur, and Madjack, my $5 Patreon patrons. I have multiple tiers at the Patreon if you want to support that way. Uh, if you can't afford it, no worries. Just liking, subscribing, and generally engaging for the algorithm helps the channel a lot. Thank you again. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye bye